Tennessee is a volunteer state where 6.8 million sit and ponder their fate. In this jurisdiction, millions have lost their lives to illness, violence, and addiction. And then some simply disappear, vanish into the fog like a fleeing deer. He was once your best friend, but now you wonder how he met his end. Mothers and fathers severely miss their sons and daughters. They ache and grieve and fight with the notion that she would just walk away and leave. Was it quick and painless or cruel and brutal? Try as you may, but everything you do is futile. Your stomach is in knots because you can't shake these frightening thoughts. And when the search parties have ended, your pain and suffering will be extended. A little piece of you has been killed. That gaping hole will never be filled. In the end, your heart will never mend. You'll always be left to wonder what happened to your father, mother, son, or best friend. These are just a few of the people who have vanished from Tennessee. Six-year-old Dennis Martin disappeared from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park while visiting with his family on June the 14th of 1969. Despite extensive searches, Dennis has never been found, and the circumstances leading to his disappearance remain unknown. On December the 31st of 1981, Charlie Hall III left his residence at 525 40th Avenue, apartment B8, in Nashville to visit his girlfriend. The 15-year-old would never return home or be seen again. 12-year-old David Clayton Warner vanished from Jefferson City, Tennessee on March the 2nd of 1983. Initially, police suspected David had ran away or gone off with some friends. When a massive search turned up nothing, they began to suspect foul play. Little David remains missing to this day. 24-year-old Ricky Lee Franks left his residence at 1610 Norval Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee on June the 7th, 1985 to visit the grocery store. He never returned home and has never been seen again. George Owens was scheduled to meet his wife at a bus station on July the 22nd of 1985, but he never arrived. When his wife returned home, she discovered that he was missing and his vehicle was nowhere to be found. Six days after his disappearance, George's vehicle would be discovered on a remote roll hilltop more than a hundred miles away from his residence. His cane was leaning against his car, the back door was open, and the keys were found in the ignition. The associate minister of the New Hope Baptist Church in Nashville remains missing. On September the 18th, 1987, Tommy Jean Hatfield allegedly walked outside with a rifle, saying he was going into the woods near his home in Clarefield, Tennessee. He never returned, and an extensive search never led to his whereabouts. 25-year-old Marine Corporal Kevin Rainey was stationed at the Navy base in Millington, Tennessee. On December the 19th of 1988, he visited a trailer park 
hoping to pick up a dancer he had met at the local club, Brass Rail, but he instead ran into her boyfriend. Randy was asked to come inside, and he did. He would never be seen again. His vehicle was found at a Walmart several days later, and detectives found blood stains inside. While he is listed as a deserter, police suspect foul play. The Attorney General's office was ready to prosecute in 2005, but the case was dropped when the main suspect suddenly passed away. Kevin Rainey's body has never been located. On May the 20th of 1996, Anna Frances Leatherwood and her husband arrived home in Sevierville, and her children noticed bruises and swelling on her leg. Her husband promised to take her to the doctor in the morning, and he claims that he did. However, she never arrived for the appointment or signed in with the receptionist. Within weeks, her husband sold many of her belongings before burning the rest. She has since been declared legally dead, but her remains have never been found. 16-year-old Trini Lynn Gibson visited the Great Smoky Mountains National Park with her classmates from Bearden High School in Knoxville on October the 8th of 1976. She was last seen near Klingman's Dome before disappearing without a trace. While exhaustive searches continued until the end of October 1976, Gibson was never found. 22-year-old Jennifer White vanished from her residence at the Tanglewood Apartments Complex in Nashville, Tennessee on January the 28th of 1980. Her vehicle would later be found in the parking lot and police suspect foul play. Tennessee State University student Alice Mae Sullivan disappeared from her girlfriend's dorm room in Hankel Hall around 10 on August the 28th of 1986. The friend told investigators that she left Alice alone in a room. Foul play is suspected. 60-year-old Elvin Cecil Hodge was well known in Chattanooga for playing piano at a local church. He was last seen leaving his home to pay bills on May the 24th of 1999, around 8. He often walked and rode the bus but did not drive. Elvin Hodge has never been seen or heard from again. Do you have the answers to help close these cold cases? Can you help put an end to the suffering of the loved ones of these missing people? If you have information regarding these unsolved disappearances, you are encouraged to come forward and contact your local police department.